I'm winning the Impact World Championship at Slammiversary. Slammiversary, Saturday, July 15th on Pay-Per-View. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is your Slammiversary main event and is for the NWA Heavyweight Championship of the World. Here tonight to present the belt and to hold it during the match, the living legend, Larry Zabisco. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the rules for the King of the Mountain matchup. First of all, pinfalls count anywhere within the building. Secondly, if you are pinned, you will then be sent to the penalty box for two minutes. If and only if you score a pinfall or submission, then you become eligible to hang the belt above me in the ring and become the World Heavyweight Champion. And now, from Orlando, Florida, it's your Slammiversary main event of the evening! Introducing the first participant. Here comes the first man headed to the ring for the King of the Mountain. He is the self-proclaimed alpha male, the five-year pro from the Serengeti, the man who made the pounce famous, the former National Football League linebacker for both the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. Yes, he played in two Super Bowls. 93, when he was a rookie with the Bills, he played with Jim Kelly, Andre Reid, Thurman Thomas and Company. 96, with the New England Patriots. Yes, he's the alpha male, and he's Monty Brown. He's challenger number one. This is a man that's going to use his power and every advantage that he's got, Mike. So many different styles in that ring. And when you think about different styles, Nobody's more unpredictable than the monster of bitch. How about the raw stats? Six feet eight inches tall. 350 pounds. You factor in one of the most devastating finishing moves in professional wrestling, the black hole slam. And the Monster Abyss has to be categorized as one of the favorites, even though he's one of the challengers here in the King of the Mountain. This is going to be a situation where his size is only going to come at a disadvantage when maybe he needs to climb up that ladder and put it up. If it was all about the pin, the Black Hole Slam would be it. He's going to have to make sure that he can get up that ladder quick enough. He was originally named the quote-unquote wild card for this matchup the 15 year pro from minneapolis minnesota sean waltman is headed to the ring i'll tell you what wild card is a good word to use when you consider sean waltman here's somebody that like a miss very unpredictable somebody that's been through a lot of different wars and a lot of different factions somebody that has not been a part of this group for a long time, so he's gonna be somebody that is kind of different for everybody to prepare for. Well, we may have labeled Sean Waltman as the wild card, but after everything that went down earlier tonight, the arrest of Jeff Jarrett for assaulting a fan, Jarrett being taken from the impact zone, taken away in a police car. In my mind, this is the real wild card in the King of the Mountain matchup headed to the ring next, wherever he's coming from. Don, if you know, point him out. I'm trying to find him here, and again, that's just typical Raven. That's who we're it's talking typical about. Typical Raven. Somebody that is absolutely doing the unsuspected. I don't even know where he's coming from. Everybody's looking for him. He is the brawler from the Bowery section of New York City. And you can see even the living legend, Larry Zabisco, has a no win or win. But here he comes. How about this? Raven's coming out under his turn. Oh, yes. He doesn't come down a tunnel. He's coming through the crowd. You know, you mentioned how he is the real wild card here because... 
we came here today, he wasn't even supposed to be a part of DNA. He was talking about a situation working in his favor. That was Raven. He was suspended. He actually quit. And in one of the gutsiest decisions that I've ever seen, Larry Zabisco reinstates him and puts him in the matchup. And listen to the reaction for the champion, AJ Styles. I'm telling you what, you talk about a people's champion. The crowd, every single person standing. They know that this guy's got us come insurmountable odds. But that's nothing for the phenomenal AJ Styles. Listen to the credits, listen to the resume. Mr. TNA, 2003 and 2004. The first ever X Division champion. The only triple crown winner in TNA history, and that means he's held all the belts. NWA World Title, NWA World Tag Team Champion, and yes, X Division Champion. Who's better than the phenomenal AJ Styles? This man, you, you sit there and you watch him and do his career. One of my favorite moments in TNA history was the first time I ever got to see him in the ring. And there's just nothing he can't do. Nothing he can't overcome. When you think you've seen it all, he's just getting started. The phenomenal and current reigning world champion, AJ Styles. The following contest is the main event of the evening. When the bell rings, the man in charge, TNA senior official, Mr. Rudy Charles. Introducing, first of all, the challengers, starting to my right. Hailing from the Serengeti, this is the alpha male, Monty Brown. Introducing to my left, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, he is the wild card spot in the king of the mountain, Sean Waltman! And introducing to my right, weighing in excess of 350 pounds from parts unknown, he is the monster of and introducing to my right from the Bowery, this is Raven. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing on top of the ladder, weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the current reigning and defending NWA heavyweight champion of the world. He is the phenomenal AJ Starks. Again, keep in mind the very unique, very special rules, and here we go. Waltman dives off the top of the penalty box cage and takes down Raven. I tell you what, a position of power, you got to understand. Oh! oh, look at this, it's AJ ready on the top of the ladder. Waltman's got a bone to pick with Raven after what happened to him. And then you see Monty Brown coming in. This is going to be wild, This folks. could be it! He's oh! Raven right off! One, two, two and look at him! Oh, he got a bit! Okay, Raven's got to go to the penalty box for two minutes. That enables Monty Brown from this point in the match to take the championship belt and hang it above the ring. Again, the rules for everybody if you missed it. When you get a pin, which can happen anywhere in the building, that makes you eligible. Oh, what a nice kick right there by Sean Waltman. That makes you eligible to hang the belt in the middle of the ring. Only if you get a pin. Now, the cool, the key thing right now for Monty Brown, he's eligible the rest of this match. None of the other guys have a shot at winning this. When you get pinned, you've got to sit in the penalty box for two minutes. Oh! AJ went airborne! Monty 
bodies laid out all over the impact zone. Look right in front of us here, Don. Unbelievable. I hope everybody's got the rules because we're not going to have time to go through it. Into the ring, two, no. no. He didn't quite get it as you see Monty Brown pushing him off right there. Again, the basic keys are this. You've got to get a pin to hang the bell. Oh, what a knee to the back by the alpha male. And you've got to try to avoid going into the penalty box. What shots by Monty Brown working on the side in the rib cage of Walton. AJ, oh, did you oh! see that? AJ went up high in a miss. Came in and knocked him down. The great thing right now for Monty is he can pick and choose. When he gets a spot where the ring is clear, then he's going to take advantage of it. Hang the championship belt. Put it on the hook and win it. Oh. Walton was amazing. I had eyes in the back of his head, moved out of the way, and that fist crashed right into Monty Brown. I was getting ready to say that. It's a That's the veteranship right there. That's the 15 years of experience. Hearing the guy, not seeing him, but hearing him coming. How about that for a spin kick that takes down a 350-pound monster? But 30 more seconds, Ravens back in. And sometimes the penalty box can go in your favor because you get a chance to rest up. You know, that, you're right. It can only go in your favor, however, if someone doesn't hang the championship belt. But seeing how physical these opening two minutes have been, Raven may be fortunate that he's in the penalty box. But I guess the clock was wrong. Referee at ringside has, has sprung Raven. Well, Raven's already in right here. Raven obviously goes by his own rules. As he absolutely just... Uh, maybe the timekeeper's got a different clock. Cross body block. Oh. Alpha male catches the bell. Power bomb down. Pin one. Pin two. I mean, pin the, three. Monty Brown. But the just bottom Waldman. The good part about that is somebody might say, why pin somebody else? Well, that puts Waldman in the penalty box. Well, Sean Waltman's got to go in the box for two minutes, and Monty Brown remains the one individual who can hang the championship belt and win the NWA World's title. Boy, Waltman in trouble here. Oh, absolutely, and he's got to get into that penalty box somehow. Right now, Monty Brown's still the only one eligible to win this match. AJ on top of the cage. Oh, oh man! What a move by AJ as they put Waltman in the box. Oh, opportunity okay. here for the champ to follow up. Charges. Shot for a miss. Opposite side. Flying forearm shot for Monty Brown. I'll tell you what unbelievable is AJ was on top of the cage and saw an opportunity. Oh, look at the pound right there. What a pounce that was. Did you see the whiplash effect there? As look at AJ this. Monty Brown. Oh, wait a minute. Raven just pulled. Raven just pulled. AJ out. Got the pin outside of the ring. So now Raven has a chance to hang the belt. Well, AJ's going to go in the box, so we're going to have, check this out, AJ and Waltman both are going to be in the penalty box at the same time. Raven just running by here, and oh, oh my gosh, grabbing whatever he can get a hold of, and look at this. He's got him up there. He has him up there. Oh, what a toss by Raven. Through the trash can, across the ring, and takes out two for the price of one. Less than a minute before Sean Waltman's back in. Raven and Bonnie Brown able to do it. Look at what Raven's just done. Bonnie Brown shot off chest first through the corner. Clothesline by Raven takes him down. Styles and Waltman in the box together. You know, sometimes you make you make friends when you're in the penalty box, Don, together. Maybe you work out a plan. I wonder if Styles and Waltman. Oh, there they are. You can I, see them. I was, I was watching from here. I was looking through, and I'm glad the camera picked that up. Way to go there, Mike. You're keeping your eye on that. Sure enough, they're making strategy together as they're working things out. And you've got to have a partner at some point. Yeah, you've still got to go to win it, but when the, you know, you've got to somehow get as many people in the box as you can. Waltman's out. Waltman set free. AJ still got just under a minute to go. Waltman goes right for a trash can. Anything goes in the kick of the mountain man. And again, Monty Brown and Raven, the only two men who are even eligible oh, to hang the championship belt. And Waltman swinging that trash can. I tell you what I liked about that move right there. John Waltman was going to bring a fresh can oh. in. Oh, nice kick there by Abyss. And he realized he was taking him too long to get it through, so he just went for the one right in the middle of the ring. That's what a veteran does. Much like we saw earlier. Bob
bodies laid out all over the impact zone. God, the physicality of this matchup in the opening few minutes has been off the charts. AJ's going to be out in 10 seconds. All five men are going to be in. back in the battle once again. The count is on as we see Monty Brown in a best battle it out. I'll tell you what, now we're going to find out just exactly what AJ... Oh, black hole slam! And he's got a fit, and now a miss is eligible! And Monty Brown's got to go to the box! Oh, I'll tell you what, when you're eligible and you got to be in the box, that's the double whammy. Now I'm curious as to see if AJ and Sean Waltman will work something out together if they have an opportunity. Raven not going to let AJ, though, at this time. Now, AJ turns his attention to Abyss, and that enables Raven to come from behind and take AJ down to the mat as we see Monty Brown headed into the penalty box for two minutes. Action in the ring is Raven pounding and driving AJ down. Leg hook, pin, no. AJ rolls the shoulder in two. I'll tell you what's amazing is the fact that the world champion AJ Styles isn't even eligible to win this right now. And, and the numbers game has just been working totally against him. The size. You don't have time to maneuver. Raven realizes that. You're right. And, and think of this. Waltman and Styles are the two guys who aren't eligible. It might be better if they tried to work together. It looks like Sean Waltman's not able to work with anybody. Here's that for Here we go. Stop. Can he get the pin? Throws him over. One, two. Nice move right there by Abyss. Don't allow another man to have that opportunity. Yeah, and especially the defending champion. But all this going on, it's just allowing Monty Brown to catch a little bit of a breather. Nice kick to the back of the head by AJ. Takes Abyss down to the arena floor. Oh, what a That's shot by Sean Waltman. Waltman swinging that steel chair, and he's just vicious. Brutal shots to the head of Abyss. You can see him right there trying to knock him down, laying him up on the table. Now, wait a minute. Could this be? Sean Walman's calling for AJ. Was there was the strategy they were talking about. We saw him in the penalty box together, and yeah, they are going to work together. Here he goes. Oh, my goodness. Did he just do a spiral tap onto the table? You, you got to be kidding me. You're damn right he did. That was, we gotta see that. Watch the pin, keep it live. Wait a minute, one, two, and he does pin him on the table. Is there any way, Keith? Oh, that was the most unbelievable thing. That's just taking a risk of the unbelievable magnitude. Boy, I know we'd love to watch a replay, but I, are we gonna have time here while we get the ladder in? We're gonna try to slip it in. Watch this, AJ. Oh, man, what precision. And what impact. We are back live. AJ's eligible. It's down to, I guess, Walton's the only one who's not eligible to hang the belt as we put Abyss in the box. I'll tell you what, having Abyss in the penalty box is a great opportunity for somebody. He's such a destructive force, it's hard to even get him in the box right there. Holy cow, this thing. Monty Brown comes right off and goes right at Raven right here. Double sledge on Raven. Put him right back into the steel safety rail. Alpha male is oh, reversed. He slingshots him right into the rail himself. AJ, yeah, he's eligible. Here he goes, AJ, while everything's going on. AJ Styles knows what he's got to do. This is his chance. AJ hanging. Oh, up. he no. lost it. Dropped him up. What is Walman? Is he going to give it to him? Oh, you got what a sacrifice by Waltman! That's incredible! What a sacrifice! Oh, it was too good to be true for AJ. Oh! oh can you believe that? X Factor! One, two, three! <laughs> and now everybody's eligible! AJ just had a chance to hang the belt! AJ had a chance to keep the title! And your relationship with Wolfman went right down the drain. What a bizarre situation. It slipped out of AJ's hands. It looked like Sean Wolfman was letting him keep the title. And then turned on him at the last second. If you think about it, Wolfman just cost AJ the chance to retain the championship belt as Raven comes back in. It shows you how important this belt is. You there, you are the 
going to be teammates. You're not going to be friends. You're not going to be partners. You just want to be champion. Waltman writhing in pain after the beating from Raven. AJ in abyss in the box as Raven. Oh, what he got in his hand? It. Oh, he's got a staple gun. Oh, God. Right in the top of his head. The only rules are the ones that apply to pinning. Placing the belt on top of the, the ring and then, of course, the penalty box. Everything else is legal. Low blow by Waltman. Takes down Raven. Abyss is making Oh, look at this. Oh, that's where you get him. To me right there. He just performed the best set to me right in the middle of the ring. He's got oh! Unbelievable! As you see a miss right they get paid. Oh, you this look at Wolfman's chance! You look around the impact zone, and, and there's this Bobby Brown! You can't believe oh, there what is. they're witnessing in this King of the Mountain match for the NWA title. Wolfman putting the boots to the Monster Abyss. One thing about it, though, you've still got to get a ladder set up, and you've still got to climb it. And you've got to hang the championship belt to win it. Pinned by Waltman oh. and... Raven going over, taking a shot on Monty Brown with less than 15 seconds. AJ will be out. Again, four of the five are eligible to hang the belt and win. Sean Waltman, the only one who hasn't scored a pin. I want to see what AJ's going to do to Sean Waltman after what Waltman did to AJ. Wait a minute. What the, what's going on here? Waltman? How's Waltman hanging this? Well, Waltman got the pin on AJ. You can see this. Waltman going up. AJ, you know. Fighting it off at the top. Wolfman and AJ. Look out! Oh, and you see AJ goes right over the top of the table. Wolfman and Styles both down and out on the floor. Zabisco's handing the belt into Abyss. And here is his chance. The monster Abyss. Getting ready to climb up to the top right here. Oh, here comes the AJ. Oh. Just bounced him right off the ladder into the table. Oh, Raven, even flow DDT on the Alpha Male. This is his chance right here. Can Raven climb as you feel the fever in the crowd? Raven heading up the ladder. He's in the corner. Oh, he's got a long way to go. Oh, yeah, and look at the monster of is right there with him. Raven's going to get it. Abyss on one side. He's going to get it. on the other. Does Raven. he do it? He kicks him off. I don't believe this. Raven. Raven. Has he done it? It's now the world champ. Raven has talked about his destiny for so long. For two years we've heard about the destiny of Raven. And now, he's the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. He's the King of the Mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been a part of a very special evening in professional wrestling history. You have witnessed a spectacle known as Slammiversary. It all concludes with Raven. The blood flowing down his face into his eyes, but nonetheless hanging the championship belt high above the ring. And in the process, becoming the NWA World Heavyweight Champion for the very first time. The disbelief on AJ's face, the belt that he just... Think about this. Think about the Larry Zabisco factor. If he hadn't let him in, he would never be the champ. He didn't have to let him in. So many get Jeff Jarrett because of his stupidity, because of letting his emotions take over, because of losing his mind. He didn't have a chance to get his title back. Listen to this crowd.
incredible response from this jam-packed standing room on the of the impact zone. When we look back at professional wrestling history, ladies and gentlemen, you will classify Slammiversary 2005 as an incredible, incredible event. The following contest is a last man standing match. No count out, no disqualification, and you win when your opponent fails to answer the 10 count. Introducing first from Hell's Kitchen, New York, Bully Ray! The big, bad intimidator has arrived at Slammiversary for the last man standing match. Gotta tell you, my man, gotta tell you right now, lay it down and keep it real out here. I don't think AJ Styles has a shot here. He is in the world of Bully Ray. I think you know, I respect AJ. Awesome competitor. Tell you what, man, I just think, I, I'm just surprised that he, he won the it, it, was, right, it was AJ who issued the challenge, you'll recall, yeah. for this last man standing match. A match that, as you say, on the surface, looks like it's right in the wheelhouse of Bully Ray. Wheelhouse, check. Baseball season turn, got me. And his opponent from Gainesville, Florida, the finale. Coming out right here on the Orange. That's it, Georgia. Working on our geography tonight. Oh, yeah. AJ, man, looks focused. Definitely looks focused out here. You see it in the eyes of AJ Styles. How about AJ's recent comments on Impact Wrestling? That he feels that he has gotten into the head of Bully Ray. Yeah, he might be. I mean, definitely might be. Bully Ray is a bully. And I think AJ definitely rent some space in the head. Not thinking about it. Of Bully Ray. And you can hear some of the comments that Bully Ray made. Of course, you know, when, when JB was interviewing him. Bully Ray said, Bully Ray said I, I should have took you out when I could. So he kind of second-guessed himself to Bully Ray. Boy, thank you. And it was also Bully Ray driving home the point that this is a last man standing match. It's not about pins, not about submissions. We're going to turn them loose. Anything goes, no count outs. And plain and simple, when your opponent cannot answer the 10 count, well, he loses, you win. Pretty simple. Bully Ray, I, I can't, you know, I've, I've been in several uh, drinking establishments with him oh. over the years. Yes, Ooh. I have. And Ooh. then we've partaken, a, you know, we've seen our share, I've been part of a few, you know, fist of cuffs at times. Mm -hmm. So I know what he could do in that realm. I don't know about AJ, I haven't been there yet. talking about how he has gotten space in the head of Bully Ray, and he continues oh the verbal tactics right before oh they turn physical here at the opening bell. Well, that's the thing with AJ Styles. What, what has, that's what's put AJ on the map is his fire. He is low with intensity and fire, and he's just extremely tough. Oh, tough in regards to taking punishment. He's doing a good job of dishing punishment out right now, too. And Bully Ray, for the primary part of his career, really up to about the last six months, known as a tag team specialist. He's on his own, one yeah, on one in this that. last man standing, and he, he pointed it out earlier, and we're gonna drive home that point too. By far, in the best shape of his wrestling life. Well, definitely Bully Ray just got himself a little spinal uh, adjustment there. Uh, oh my God, talk about adjustments. You can see uh, AJ's face. My man don't even know what just hit him. That was heavy right there by Bully Ray. That body shot followed by another one of those body blows. Devastating. That's a heavy hitter right there from Hell's Kitchen. And the impact 
of those blows from Bully Ray reflected in the face and the reaction of AJ, who has been rocked repeatedly in the corner. Last man standing match, last man standing, man. It's just, we laid out the rules. Christy Hammond laid out the rules. And it looks, the bottom line is it's going to be physical. It's a violent match. You pretty much have to knock your opponent out. You got to beat him down senseless so he can't answer the 10 count. And that's that's insane physicality that you gotta you gotta dish down. Oh. Well, no count outs, no disqualifications. Ooh, man. How about AJ unleashing the headbutt in the corner? Yeah, you don't, don't see that, that yeah, You don't see that too often from AJ. Just tried to, AJ just tried to de decapitate Bully Ray right there with that flying forearm. You could just hear the shots of the fist hitting the head of Bully Ray. Yeah, strikes are going to be more important to AJ than they are in a normal ooh, pinfall or submission wrestling match. And he came flying right at Bully Ray and paid the price. And especially paid the price as the bully drops down with all of his weight behind that elbow. Yeah, he's a, Bully Ray's a very large man. I mean, he's a thickly built, but he's always been in great ring condition. The man can wrestle long amounts of time. He's always had great cardiovascular conditioning, even when he was pushing 400 pounds. I'm telling you, man, the, the man always had great cardio. Talked about the strikes in this match, those cross-face shots from Bully Ray. Oh, my God. Followed up oh my God. by a tremendous back body drop with yeah. AJ tossed all the way across the ring. AJ almost hit rain up there. He was so high. One. Bully Ray Two. just sitting and waiting. Man, has he got him in his sights? Yep, yep. That's how you do it. He wants a count. Bully Ray wants a count. AJ sending a message right there, getting up on three. Saying that's not enough, big man, to keep me down. It's also one of those situations where when you're down and the referee's counting, you may think about letting the referee get a little deeper into the count to give you yeah. a few more seconds of recovery time. I was thinking the same exact thing. It, it's one of those but, things that you kind of meet you in the middle. You want to um, tell you want to send a message thing, yeah. to your opponent in terms of pride. Correct. But at the oh, same time, oh, God, God. wow. Did you hear that? Swung through the hear ring ropes on right it. there. We heard it, and AJ felt it. It's the bully. Well, this is his playground out here. This is all legal, man. No disqualification, as we said, no count out. Bad intentions on the mind of Bully Ray. Oh! Oh, oh God. Again. The physicality as you get. Ugh. Listen to those shots. The reaction also of the fans in the front row yeah. there. Oh. No, oh, this is not rainbows and butterflies here, yeah. folks. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get after it. And AJ used the, the steel guardrail to bring himself up because. Referee Brian Hebner was even counting AJ down with up. You oh talked my, about oh bad intentions. God, oh God, that's nasty. Bad intentions, exactly what that is, is AJ's taken up into the air and dropped down across the steel steps. And, that, and there's no remorse on the face, Mike. I'm no, sorry to interrupt you. I'm bully none. Ray. And you know what? I, I, I personally don't have a problem with that. This is a last man standing match. There's a lot of hatred between these two men. Well, yeah, so, you know, I get it. History that goes back months. To the point where AJ was hospitalized at the hands of Bully Ray. That unforgettable power bomb off the off the entrance area here at the Look impact at this. Look zone. At this, and now is um, Bully Ray doing it. He's trying to crush him with the steps. Oh my god, you hear that? He got him trapped. And while AJ was trapped, he also laid in a shot to the chest, and, and this is just Bully Ray all over AJ Styles. Again, screaming, He's the referee have count. to count him. This might be it here. We're at four this at this point. I mean, 
Trying to can't tell is AJ even uh he's up. Okay, I didn't tell if he was up or down. I think the count got to around four or five. Just trying to listen to Hebner with the count. AJ trying to get away. Well, this is where Bully Ray is most dangerous when you get his confidence up. There we go. Watch this. Watch this. Listen to this. How about that? He's trapping his arms. Makes him defenseless. To right. that open hand slap and chop. Right in the middle of the chest, right in the sternum area. I've been chopped by Bully Ray. It sucks. It's not a fun feeling. It hurts as much as it sounds. Yeah, just judging. This, this. You can see that. You can see that. You can see the handprint of Bully well, Ray. You see another one. Uh, was AJ crazy? You also see the broken blood vessels on the chest of, of AJ Styles from the repeated slaps and chops. Reaction from Bully Ray when AJ says, Come on, hit me again. No, AJ, I think he's letting get his prize a little bit too big for himself here. Crazy. And what? Not often you get a whole, you know, watching off a shot. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah. But if you ever do, that one was well deserved. <laughs> it's like a gun went off. Look his chest, man. Look at AJ's chest. Look at that. He said, no. he said, this ain't nothing. He said, lay one right on the chin. Crazy. Put it on the jaw. Oh, my God. Holy Ray punched him right in the jaw, man. Right in the mouth. Scars on the chest of AJ as referee Brian Hebner is at four. Well, people are trying to get behind AJ here. He's at five as AJ and uses the ropes to get back up to his feet. Showing a lot of heart, AJ Styles. Look at him, look at this. Oh! Invites Bully Ray in. And now it strikes from AJ with the big right. Oh man, another one. Look at these blows here by Styles. Yeah, Bully Ray's still on his feet. Maybe not for long. Ooh. Ooh. Kick to the back of the head. Finally. Look at that face. Look at the eyes on AJ. What's a reaction? That in the nine years that we have seen AJ Styles with this company, I, I don't know that I've ever seen him in, in this kind of a, a, a mindset. Could it go springboard? Oh, did he nail it? Oh, oh, God. Wow. Right on top oh, of the head. Look at that. Bully Ray. Looks like he fell out of a building. He might be done. Ref's counting. Let's take a look at the impact here and it's flying. Oh. We come back live, the count. What's he up to? I think it was five or six. six. We're at six now. Bully Ray makes the count. What's AJ gonna throw at him now? Ooh, Bully Ray caught him coming in with the elbow. Oh, a Pele! How the hell did he get up there? Yeah, awesome that was, athlete. That was unreal, especially with Bully Ray up on the, perched up on the top rope for AJ to drill him in the head with the Pele. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, God, right in the ribs. Look at shots. One after the other, right to left. Oh, my God. Just throwing everything at him. Oh my God, oh, oh my God. Oh. Shades of what happened off the stage by Bully Ray. Same move, sit out, power bomb. Just to the point in time where AJ, after the strikes in the corner, looked like maybe he was gonna try and snap off a of Hurricane Rana, yeah. potentially. But that Bully Ray would have none of it. Yeah, teeny bit of hesitation there. Let's take a look at a Pele. That bam, oh, yeah. That. And then the counter here by Bully Ray with that sit-out bomb, sit-out power bomb. 
Both men kind of stealing to the outside. Again, no count out, no disqualification, chain in hand. Well, can't get disqualified. The weapon. Oh my God, look at this, this, look at this, look at this. Did we see from Bully Ray? Oh, no, 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 no. Duck oh, home. God. Thank God he ducked. The vibration hurt Bully Ray's hand. Yeah, the steel. The team went into the steel post and. AJ's got the chain, steel chain wrapped around his hand. Oh! Oh, man. <laughs> AJ popped him. Just full speed right at Bully Ray. Caught him right in the head with the chain. You heard the chain. You heard it rattle off the face and head of Bully Ray. <sighs> Again, the chest from those violent chops by Bully Ray. He just so welted up. Let's see the shot here. Oh, man. Chain meet flesh, and the result whoa, whoa, is this. Whoa, whoa, you're not kidding, bud. Yeah, Bully Ray. Wow. He is split wide open. I don't know if it's his eyes, his forehead. The chain that Bully Ray introduced into the match used against him. I never thought we'd see Bully Ray trying to escape to get back. Oh, my God, see that punch? <laughs> And the bloody, the weakened, Bully Ray. This is physical as hell. Oh, good Look Lord. at this. Good Lord. This is sick. Hey, what? I, I, I tip my cap to you, AJ Styles. I didn't know you had this in you, my man. Phenomenal violence by Styles. Holy crap. Springboard. 450. 450. Caught him perfectly. How the hell did he do that? Here's the count. We're at three, says Brian Hebner. Wow. Look at Bull Ray. He's done. He's done. It's six. Split open. You've got a long way to go. You got to get all the way to your feet before ten, and yeah, we're at he's eight. Done. We're at eight right now. And he. Wow. In the mind of, of Hebner is back on his feet. Look at How this. About this? Whoa. Power. Oh, God. Oh, what the hell? AJ. <laughs> AJ takes Bully Ray, throws him over the top onto the <laughs> steps. Hit him up with ease, man. AJ's right. He is a crazy friggin' redneck. It's nuts. Bully Ray, I don't know what hit him. Count being put in by Hebner. We're at two as we see the replay of AJ connecting. AJ motioning right, to the Styles class. On the outside on the here. concrete. Oh, God. And Bully Ray takes AJ up, drops him across the apron, which as we know, with that apron, just well, no, yeah, no, no give to that part of the hot, ring. Hot as hell over there. That's where the, the ring meets the, 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 the corner beat, I should say, the steel of the ring. Uh, meets the wood that's under the canvas. It's the hardest part of the ring, to be honest with you. AJ just really landed nasty. And uh, now watch it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell's going on here? It's just... just Again, no count out here, no disqualification. Oh. You don't think. Wait a bit. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Not this again. This is what put AJ in the hospital. So the do it, Bully Ray's gonna do it. Oh. oh! As AJ drops down, he catches Bully Ray. Oh, he's oh. kicking in the Pele. What a thud, man. That's only about 20 feet from us, Mike. You hear that? Look at this, look at this, look at this! Oh! oh. AJ just punted. Holy Ray down to the floor. <sighs> Holy Ray staggering it. And Taz, at what point will this loss. Watch out, watch out, Mike! Look at, look look at this, look at this! Oh, oh my, my God! God. Spectacular flying leap 
by AJ, takes down Bully Ray. Referee Hebner's got to come over here and count now. Let's take a look at this, man. I saw him running from the stage, man. Watch, look at AJ, look at him flying. Good God oh, almighty. Not only the elevation, but the total lift and the distance of that move by Styles. Oh, Holy Who are we at on the count here? Four. We're at four. AJ's on his feet. AJ's up. Six is the count for Bully Ray. Bully Ray just starting to move now at six. We're at eight as Bully Ray uses the guardrail to get back up. Is he up? Yes, in the mind of Ryan Hebner, he's up. And AJ Styles, what's he doing? He's just in, he's already in like fourth gear, ready to whip some more ass out here. Now security crew over here at this table, and AJ takes it away. You could just, I'm telling you, I just saw, I looked down at AJ from up here where we are. His eyes, he has got, he's in a dark place right now. Oh my God, shot. You violent Lord. blows. Oh yeah! Watch it, she waffles him across the back. The impact of the steel chair. Oh, watch out, Mike. AJ's coming. I don't know where the hell he's going. AJ coming right up here by us. Oh my God! Look, look, Mike, Mike, you know Mike. What this is. Yeah, I know. Look how far. You talk about a chance to even the score. Look how far away he is. Hold on, Mike. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my God! Doing here? AJ jumps across on the truss. Mike, hold on. You gotta be from the steel structure. You gotta AJ, be freaking AJ. kidding me here. That is. AJ, you gotta rethink this. Don't do AJ it. Going up higher yet. Oh my God. Don't do it. No. Oh my no God. I can't even watch. No I can't watch way. this. No freaking way, Taz. I can't watch it. Oh God. Amazing I've, things I've, I've never seen. seen. I've seen a lot of stuff, man. A lot, and I know you have too. That was sick. I don't. I don't never remember seeing anything like that. I don't even know how friggin' hot he was, AJ. That was nuts. The refs counting. I don't know who's. He's, yeah, he's nuts. He's at four at this point, and both men are down. AJ's gonna win this thing. At five, AJ's up. Billy Ray still down. Oh my God! He used the free leg and he kicked it, and AJ went right, went right, right to the, our stage here. Stage at, right above at the broadcast table, hey, right below us. Right. He's up to eight. The ref's up to eight. No. Both men are down. Bully Ray. Bully, Bully Ray. Bully Ray. Bully Ray. Bully Ray. Bully Ray. Bully Ray. Bully Bully Ray. has done it. He, bit, he fell right back Your down, winner, but he stood up. Bully That was, I'm telling you, right, this is not a friggin' overstatement. That was one of the most violent, physical matchups I've ever called or witnessed ever. That was sick. Uh, in my opinion, both men winners in that thing. The official winner is that man, Bully Ray. Even though he don't look it right now, he's probably blinking. That was just, how smart, I don't know, if just thinking on his feet, but he's laying on his back, Bully Ray, and he kicked. AJ Styles, great to see him right there, just right through our stage. Whether he was smart or whether he was fortunate. Either way, boy, it turns out in Bully Ray's favor. What an incredibly brutal. Look at this, look at this. Oh my God. I'm dumb. Like how far up is he? He's right in front of us here. He had to be 20 plus. 20 plus, right? Yeah. 23, 25 feet. And then right there, we look see it. And that wasn't just that, I mean, the, the, the rest of the match, how physical it was. From the opening bell. Punches, just the physicality. AJ Styles, as I said it earlier, I'll say it again, showing phenomenal violence that I didn't know was in him. Nothing to be ashamed of there. Bully Ray was the last man standing for about a second, and he fell right back down, but... And AJ proved he was a man tonight. Sure did, man. Well, 
We're getting help out here for both athletes. This was nasty. This was this was <laughs> this was bad. But one of the most memorable matches that we have had in the nine year history of, of this organization. And it takes place tonight at Slammiversary. This is one match we will never forget. I know I will. I mean, that was, uh, I was, that was nuts. It was whacked. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. I was, the violence, the, uh, let's take another look I'm here. I'm just going to say, is there any way? I just got to see this one out. Come on, come on. You know, if Bully Ray didn't have the wherewithal to kick AJ off of him, and he ended up going through the uh, through the stage here, I mean, I'll tell you what, I think we'd have a different outcome for a winner here. Wow. The Bully Contest scheduled for one fall is a last knockout standing match. Please welcome your referee for this match, ODB. You recall that ODB went to Brooke Hogan, executive in charge of the knockout. She asked for this position as knockout ref. I think she's done a terrific job since replacing Taryn Terrell. Oh, yeah. Outstanding job. Introducing first from Toronto, Canada, Gail Kim. Gail Kim promising to finish the job here tonight against Taryn Terrell. That's my girl. Sorry. You know, be careful. Yeah, be careful. No, go right ahead. Just interrupt Todd. No, 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 Why don't you? have been doing it all night with both, right. both Todd and Mike. Go ahead, Tom. What else is new? <laughs> you got to think that Kale's just going to try and punish her in this matchup. Last knockout stand. First time ever in TNA that we've seen the knockouts in this last person standing match. What are you being PC saying last and her person opponent standing? From New Orleans, Louisiana, Taryn Terry. Listen, I know you personally today. Yeah. There's nothing PC about you. There's a what? dark side. Where do you mean? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're a dark side. So again, we got to break down the stipulation here. No pinfalls, no submissions, no disqualifications. Whichever knockout is not able to answer that 10 count. Go ahead, continue, Bob. Sorry, I got you. Go right ahead, Tad. Oh, I'm very curious as to what you have to say. Oh, it's fun. Okay. I want to see something about Taryn Terrell. And she comes out all pretty and purple and pretty blonde girl. Great smile. But she's a psychopath. She's a woman. She just said she's a little crazy. A little crazy? She's whack. Continue with the rules, Todd. I'm sorry, my good sir. I think I pretty much covered it. Oh, sorry. Well, when you're talking about a little whack and a little crazy, how about Gail Kim? As we've seen, Taryn, just like Velvet Sky and Tara, the victim of that steel post figure four. A lot of T's involved there. Taryn, Terrell, Taryn. Yeah, that figure four on the post, though, Mike, so vicious. Just trying to yeah. shorten, if not end careers. Look, 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 look at this, Todd. Look at this. I'm gonna talk to you because you're more of a gentleman than Mike. But look at the intensity that Gail Kim brings to the dance. You know what I'm saying? She does it all legal, too. Now, look at the media. Oh, yeah, all legal. Psycho chick. Psycho chick now, Blanc. Well, unfortunately, though, Mike, I mean, it is all legal in this match. Anything goes. ODB, knockouts official, basically just out there to administer the count. Yeah, she's out there to stand there and just look drunk. Wait a minute, because she is. Yeah. Me, the ODB. Gail Kim now prancing around like the great knockout she is. Oh! So in a match like this, Taz, yeah. when you're looking to incapacitate your opponent for that 10 seconds, what kind of strategy do you use coming into it? Well, I'm a little different than these ladies. Yeah, I would go for a submission, try and choke my opponent out quickly. But these two girls are both, you know, they're kind of you know, very intense and loaded with a lot of, like, estrogen issues and stuff like that. So they're kind of raging out here, you know what I mean? I don't know if that really answers your question. I don't think it does actually answer your question. No, you didn't. Didn't even come close. <laughs> look at this. It's a great move. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, octopus style. Oh, I you love the called, You called for the you called for the submission strategy. Well, that's what I just called. See, Gail, Kim, and I. It's like we're like on sublingual facts, like sublingually connected. Huh? Sub, sub, yeah. Look. I call for a submission. Gail feels what I'm saying. It's like bio rhythms. You know what I'm the, saying? the experience advantage here is huge for Gail Kim in her 13th year as a pro. Well, who else busts out bio rhythms on a, a wrestling show? Hashtag, hashtag bio rhythms. Here comes the count now. 
Gail Kim just trying to pick her apart, much like you think you've been that, doing to the English language, Taz. <laughs> Thank you. Do you think that ODB is going to be able to count to 10 by 12, you know, maybe the next minute or two, by the time Laura that liquor we kicks in? We've got to see these issues with ODB. She's, a, she's an intoxicated referee, let's be honest. She's trailer park trash, and I'm trying to be PC. Oh, look oh, at yeah. Gail. Gail Kim, she's just perfect at what she does. First ever knockouts champion. Yeah. She climbs the ropes. Back in October of 2007, Gail Kim became that first ever knockout champ. She's held the knockouts title on two occasions. And Gail Kim was named by PWI, Pro Wrestling Illustrated Magazine, as the number one female wrestler in the world. That's the kind of competition that Taryn Terrell has tonight. Terrell having to answer the count yet again, and Gail Kim getting an equalizer as Terrell gets back to her feet. That's well, all legal, right? All legal here. Whoa! Just punting that chair. Big punt, big punt. And Terrell has been so impressive since joining the knockouts division as a competitor. She can match intensity. What is going to win out here? Oh. The intensity and the hunger of Terrell or the experience and intensity of Kim? It's a good call, Todd. You'll think back in April, Impact Wrestling, Taryn Terrell, she defeated Gail Kim in a singles match. Now the opportunity here to, to prove her supremacy in this last knockout standing. Taryn oh, Terrell. What's she up to here? Oh, 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 Gail's got that, that chair in hand. Oh! Cross body by Terrell, but she ran right into that chair. Both both ladies, their oh, midsections were crawling yeah, that chair. Damage that could do to the ribs. That was nasty. Man, we heard the impact. Sitting here at the at the broadcast table close by as ODB puts in the count. Oh, look at Gail there. She got a shot, Gail. Going over, pounding. Karen's leg on, on, on that chair. Trying to take out the leg there. Yeah, hard to, hard to answer the count if you can't get back to your feet. Gail Kim came in with a very aggressive game plan here, and so far it's paying off. Oh, absolutely. This is, you can see she's got some bad intentions on her mind, on a pretty little mind, does Gail Kim. Pretty little mind with bad intentions. Boom! Oh! She blocks it. Come out here singing tunes. Slammer verse, you baby. All right, multi-talented. I do that. Uh oh, look out here though. Oh, not this again. Oh man, this is this is a bad, bad hold. Oh, oh and she's God. got it locked in, just wrenching back. Imagine the pain going through the way. It's all legal. It's all legal yeah, in this right. match. You can hear Taryn Terrell screaming out in pain. That might do it, guys. I thought that was nasty, and besides that, she had that big pole stuck in between the legs while that, that submission was on. So, you know, it's definitely double doozy, man. Nasty. Steel post will be fine. Never mind that like gutter today. Crazy. All right, now, seven. Look, this might be it. Terry Terrell's done. Oh, 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 she's up. A eight. Terry's back on her feet. And oh! oh! She not only avoided the contact from Gail Kim, but did you hear that? Oh, no. As Gail went right into the steel chair. That was nasty. Oh. Well, her best laid plans came back to bite her in the you-know-what there, right into the chair. Let's keep our eyes on the count from ODB. I think she's up to three. Oh, she's hurt. I guess got to be hurt. That was really bad. She's at five. Get up, Gail. You can't lose here, Gail. You got to get up. Sorry. It shouldn't be uh, She's at eight. She's up, she's gonna, she's gonna get up, she's gonna get up, there you go. Let's take a look here, wait, 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 see what happens here, hold on. Oh, no. Oh, wait. yeah! Gonna give her a taste of her own medicine, and it's not gonna taste good for Gail Kim. How's it feel, Gail? Why not? Gail? No, 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 ODP, get her off that hold! What do you mean, get her off the hold? It's, it, it's not illegal. You were just cheering for Gail when she did it, pointing out how legal it was. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I hear you. It's just I, I feel bad for Gail. It was, I was just, you know, she's a little bit, she has a little bit less, you know, she's a little smaller, so. Oh, knock it off. She's got more of a delicate body. That's what I'm trying to say, Gail Kid. She's more of a, you know, softer, more of a lady, you know? Now, nothing soft about him in this match, though. It has been very personal 
and very physical since the opening bell as Gail tries to get back to her feet again and does oh! Oh my God! Uh, that she landed hard to Tantarell. That's what happens when you got screws loose in your brain. You do things that are just a little nuts. And that ramp is it's just unforgiving steel. Went flying with the dive and Gale. ODB, she's doing a lot of counting. But she's blown up. Going for that spear, and you're right, Mike, just an absolute nosedive, no give on that ramp. It counts up. I think we're at six at this point, just past, yeah, seven. We're at eight. Oh, oh she's got him. Oh, she made it up before the 10 did Taryn Terrell. Unbelievable heart on display here by Terrell. Finds a way to dig down deep again. Well, the tough thing was those 10 seconds, nine seconds, helped Taryn recover. Oh, just oh, sweeps the lead. Oh, oh, what a man. sickening thud. So that was nasty. I mean, these girls are not, they're not as thick and muscularly built and, and heavy as our guys are. Um, um, Male wrestlers, obviously. So that that was that was uh, that was a bad landing for for Taryn. Halfway there at five. I think it's the experience coming into play there for Gale, able to sidestep and sweep there. Gale's going to win this thing here, guys. She's jumped up to a knee at eight. A kicker, kicker. And again, she was able to barely beat that ten count. No. Oh, what does Gale have in mind now? Is she going for a damn power driver on the ramp? She's gonna try and end her career here. Whoa! Oh, what, the what the hell was that? Unbelievable, well, guys. Uh, my sentiments exactly to our live audience in Boston. Yeah, holy excrement indeed. in this match have tasted Knockout's championship gold. Sue Young is a former Knockout's champion. Don, I have two questions for you. Yeah. In just a traditional, funny that I use that word in a four-way match because it's 
not traditional from Jump Street, but just go with me here. In a traditional four-way match, who wins? Who leaves as champion tonight? Well, normally I would never bet against Taya, but I'm picking Jessica Havoc tonight. So I don't even have to ask another question then. My next question is going to be, in Monsters Ball, who wins the Knockouts Championship? Do you still go with Havoc? I go with Sue Young. Okay, so you did have a different answer. I'm covering we, all my bases, Josh. Are we looking at the next Knockouts Champion tonight? champion. The look and feel and everything that defines Jessica Havoc is violent and dangerous and destructive. Taya Valkyrie, she must not listen to a lot of emo music. There's nothing emo about Jessica Havoc, Rosemary, or Sue Young. I don't even know what emo is. Making her way to the ring, Rosemary. She is the demon assassin, another former knockouts champion. Don, it feels like October 31st. It's like Halloween out here. I don't like being this close as Sue Young just came down by our broadcast position. These are the matches that I wish we were up in a balcony somewhere, Josh. Well, this coming Friday night on Impact Wrestling, you and I will be all over the place. We'll be talking to dignitaries from Impact. We'll be sitting ringside for a main event match. We'll be on our interview set, but right now we are stuck at ringside for what's going to happen in this Monsters Ball match. Chilling atmosphere in Dallas. Father James Mitchell's here. I want to ask you some questions about Father James Mitchell throughout this match. And is he leaning one way or another with Sue or Havoc? Give me some time to think about it. Participant of the four-way Masters Ball is the Impact Knockout Champion, Taya Valkyrie. Taya Valkyrie lives the Hollywood life. She has adopted the Hollywood lifestyle. If you follow her on social media and you have a weak stomach, you might not want to follow her. What are you talking media. about? She's the new Hollywood. That's what she is, a multi-platform, multimedia superstar that is in demand everywhere she goes, Josh. Don, I've never met a more egotistical human being in my entire life. I've never met a more confident individual in my entire life, and I think she's confident with good reason. She's had this belt for a long time. She's been dominant. She's beaten everyone that's been in front of her. And by the way, she just happens to be a star, Josh. Can't deny what Don is saying. Ty of Valkyrie is all of those things. But will she be champion at the conclusion of Monsters Ball here in Dallas? She made a deal with the devil, Rosemary. That's how uh, Rosemary got involved in this match. Father James Mitchell issued the invitation, but it was Taya who really opened up the door for Rosemary. Yeah, Ty and Rosemary, long history there. A lot of water under that bridge, a lot of bad blood. So here we go, the opening bell has rung. You know, down there's that old story about somebody making a deal with a snake. The snake bites the person and says, what did you expect, I'm still a snake. Yeah. Jessica Havoc has the champion on one side of the ring, Sue Young and Rosemary on the other. And Sue Young, famously or infamously, rather, Oh, the upside down from Rosemary. Put Rosemary in a casket and lit it on fire. Talk about bad blood. It's way beyond that. 
And here comes Taya Valkyrie oh. taking advantage. One ball to a finish, folks, in Monsters Ball, but there are no rules. No countouts, no disqualifications. Anything can and most likely will go here. Sue Young and Havoc working together here so far effectively. So a little bit of tension between, oh boy, Sue and Havoc last night at Deep Impact. You've got to wonder if Father James Mitchell fixed that. Here come the chairs. Here comes the garbage can. What's inside the garbage can? James Mitchell working on behalf of Sue and Havoc. Dueling chairs. <laughs> Ty, oh, is that a staple gun? He's got a staple gun. Does Ty. Have it not allowing this staple gun. Oh, and Sue comes firing in. Very, Rosemary. very rare that Taya doesn't have a power advantage when she's in there, but it's all Jessica Havoc in that regard tonight. I mean, Don, how do you strategize for this match? Can you come in with a game plan? No, I really don't think you can. It's too unpredictable. You don't know what people are going to bring to the ring. Like a garbage can being thrown into your face by the demon assassin, the leader of the Hive Wings. Rosemary to the floor. Rosemary's down. Taya Valkyrie again with the staple gun in her hand. Sue turns around and oh, catches a shot to the midsection. Bam! Stiff kicks by the champion. Oh, staple oh. to the back. You want to be not that champion? Oh! And we wondered whether Taya was a fish out of water here. What's she pulling out? She's got something. It's an eight by ten. Oh dear. It's a tie of Valkyrie, eight by ten. I hope she paid for that. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh dear God. Oh, she's stapling the eight by ten to the, oh, what the oh, world. Come on. Taya said putting me in this match is like putting a Lamborghini in a demolition derby. But she has looked nothing like a Lamborghini tonight. She's ready to take it to the next level as we just saw as she jams that paper in the mouth oh. of Sue. High knee. Taya Valkyrie has no idea what's behind her. Oh. Habit. Bam. Oh. Got someone like Havoc, they can come in and one or two moves can change an entire match. Well, here's the thing about Havoc. She's a heavy hitter, but she's also sadistic. That's a dangerous combination. Throw in Jim Mitchell, and you got a disaster waiting to happen here. Ty of Outgrid tied up in the Tree of Woe. Courtesy of Havoc. Oh, no. Oh, no. Havoc, not just a name, but a Oh, oh boy. Bet that chair as the head and neck of Taya slammed into the chair in the corner. Knockouts championship on the line. Live tonight here in Dallas, Texas at Slammiversary. Oh! Running boot. Gonna get her again. Oh! Page out of Taya's book here. And here's Rosemary. Rosemary up top as Jessica Havoc continues to stalk around the ring. Here comes Rosemary off the top. Missile drop kick. Oh, to the shoulder. Oh, to the back. The other shoulder. Rosemary is swinging for the fences as you've got to do against Taya. Now Sue has recovered from that staple gun. She's got, what is that, a dog collar? Yeah, a lot of significance to the dog collar between these two. The demon collar. Remember the demon collar match that oh, I remember it. I have nightmares about it. The demon collar match that these two had on impact. Why is Sue putting it around her own neck? I mean, why does Sue do anything? Right. You think Sue should put it around the neck of Havoc or, or I Taya? Would, I would hang the person, but that's just me. Havoc has now cinched herself, locked herself to Rosemary. Sue is sick, Josh. She is a sick young lady. Sue. Locked it. Oh, oh low watch, Sue, watch Sue, watch Sue, watch Sue. Oh! Head first off the steel chair. What great strategy. I question. Look out now, the glove. The it's glove. No, no, no. The plate glove. God, you can smell it down at ringside. It's putrid. 
And now, once again, taking time. This is a mistake, in my view, taking time to lash herself to Rosemary. She needs to set up that mandible claw. And she's, oh, Taya Valkyrie has a ladder. Down goes both Sue and Rosemary, courtesy of the Knockouts champion. Havoc, choke slam, body scissors. Oh! What a counter by the champion. And for the first time, Havoc is in real trouble. Taya Valkyrie is in control because of this. She turned inside and watch Havoc. Oh, just bounce off the ladder. It's Monster's Ball for the Knockouts Championship. Josh, are you shocked at how well Taya has adapted to this Monster's Ball? match tonight. Well, yeah, at first I was, Don, but I remember the, the, the street fight that she had with Tessa Blanchard That's in right. Mexico. Yeah, you're right. Good call. She's willing and able to do whatever it takes. Climbing to the top rope. Sue prevents Taya from perhaps retaining the championship. I don't think Sue Young gets enough credit as a great strategic wrestler in that ring. I mean, she's a young lady with a plan, Josh. And she has Taya once again upside down, tied to the tree of woe, climbing to the top rope. Jessica Havoc's in the center of the ring on a ladder. And here comes Rosemary. And Don, you can just feel a collision is upon us. Look at this. Taya has. Oh boy. Oh! Oh! My Everybody's down after that. Taya with a little extra torque from the bottom. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Taya's up. Havoc's up. Oh! Taya baited her in. Havoc couldn't see the chair. Taya was shielding it with her body. Here comes Rosemary oh. with a spear of her own. Brutal spear by Rosemary. <laughs> Father James Mitchell screaming instructions. Oh my. You know what's in there. I got a pretty good idea. <laughs> Rosemary is going to empty this bag, and Dallas is going to erupt. Oh, no. Hundreds of razor sharp thumbtacks. Spreading them out to maximize whatever sickness she's about to inflict. Rosemary. Can she get her up? Taya is fighting for her life and her championship. No, 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 Ooh. no, no. She blocked it. She Rosemary, blocked it. put on the brakes. Taya, German, oh! Did not get to the tax. Trying to get her to those thumbtacks. Oh my. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be tough to watch. She's gonna stomp her. Oh my God! Face first. And Havoc breaks it up. That might be the end of Rosemary. Face first into the thumbtacks. Look at this stop. There's a cover. And no! Wait a minute. What's going on here with Havoc well, Dad, and did, with Sue? Did you notice that the cover took place during the, during the replay? And Havoc didn't like that. Missed to the eyes of Father James Mitchell. And the unholy alliance is breaking down. Oh, she's got her hand. She's got Mandible Claw. Mandible Claw and Havoc. What the hell is going on? Sue and Havoc's friendship and partnership has deteriorated. Great power by Havoc. Oh. Into the corner. Havoc breaking the Mandible Claw. 
havoc. Look at this now on the outside. That table has been set up. Rosemary and Taya Valkyrie. Sue Young in the corner. Rosemary looking to return no, the favor. No, 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 she'll kill her if she does this. No, 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 no. Taya holding on for dear life. Look at this, look at this, through the table. Oh my God. Back inside the ring. Sue, Mandible claw she's from the got top her, rope. she's got her. And she's dragging her to the top rope. What does Sue have in mind? Whatever it is, it's sick. Havoc trying to, oh my. Super top stop. Oh, the tags tax on the tags. Just on the tax is going to be knockouts. Champion, see where the hell did that come from? Tie Tie look at this. Cover and Taya retains her championship. In Monsters Ball at Slammiversary. Don, she had a demon, a devil, an assassin. Jessica Havoc. And somehow, Taya Valkyrie outlasts. Watch this, through the table. Putting herself in harm's way. A super tombstone off the second into thumbtacks. Throws the steel chair into the face of Havoc. Picks up the scraps. Whatever the hell it takes to win. Wow. And retain your knockouts championship. Taya retains, and she's taking her title north of the border to Windsor, Ontario. something to say to the impact zone. That, ladies and gentlemen, 
against the man that many call the best bout machine. And I'd like to open up the conversation here. Why? Why do Kenny Omega's fans believe that he is pound for pound the best in the world? I would love to have the conversation because I do agree. But then there are others that say that Kenny ain't that great. And Sammy Callahan is just the guy to beat. Your thoughts? Let's 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 first of all give this conversation hashtag Slammiversary and answer that. Why is Kenny Omega the best bout machine? I agree. He is pound for pound one of the best in the world. But I also agree that Sammy Callahan is one of the most unpredictable. And, and that's a good point. Look, we've seen everyone try to beat Kenny Omega at pro wrestling. Sammy Callahan is, is not going to do that, is he? No, he is going to try to use his entire impact zone as a weapon. The ring is a weapon. The stairs are a weapon. Hell, if fans get in the way, they're going to be a weapon. But you know, certain guys in our sport, they just, they just don't lose. Look at legendary names like Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan. You know, only Arn Anderson, Bullet Bob Armstrong, Undertaker, and Antonio Inoki have pinfall victories over Flair and Hogan. It's one of those things. We're going to be talking about Kenny Omega in that same breath one day. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our main event. The iconic voice of David Penzer set for the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Slammiversary main event. It is for the Impact World Championship. It is scheduled for one fall. And it is no disqualification. When the bell rings, the referee, Brian Hebner. Introducing first the challenger in the corner to my right from a compound somewhere close to Anonymous, Ohio. He is the worldwide desperado. He is the Callahan death machine. He is the draw, Simi Callahan. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent in the... Hit the bricks, slap nuts, and let a real professional do this introduction. You got fired! You got fired! You got fired! Real men don't quit, they get fired! Well, Tonight, you are graced by a man with so many world titles, we had to get a convoy of 18-wheelers to transport them to Nashville tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this man is a god of professional wrestling. This man is not just the greatest champion in the history of the industry, he is the king of the death match. Tougher than John Moxley. Tougher than Nick Gage. And greater than Hackenschmidt, Gotch, Strangler Lewis, Flair, Vern Gagne, Nick Bockwinkle, and even by God, the great Terry Funk. <laughs> We put it together, the current Impact World Heavyweight Champion from the wrestling capital of the world, Winnipeg, Manitoba, weighing 222 pounds, Kenny Omega! Oh, Stephanie Kenny, go right at it! 
And Bell right. for Mitchell. Here we go. Stop Bell. Driver. Driver. That's it. That's it. Driver. Two. Oh. What, what's Is Don Callis joining us? I, I think Don Callis is joining us here. Yeah, I'll area. give you my chip. He just I'm took making, my I'm chip. I'm making some more here. No, sit down. I'll get another chip. Sorry. Hello, Mr. Don Callis. Hello, welcome to the broadcast booth. Someone told me you two were on commentary tonight. I figured I better come out and help. Dilo, how are you, bro? I'm fine. How are you doing? Who's the stooge next to you? Nice shoes, Don. Oh, thank you. And uh, now Sammy is. What did Josh Matthews get a cold? And we had to get the B team in here. What's going on? Yeah, you know, we had to, we had you know. Up I heard up. what you've been saying. You I heard what you've been saying about Kenny Omega Striker. Well, I'm just asking a simple a question. You're, you're the best guy to answer. Can you just call the action right now? Kenny Omega is destroying Sammy Callahan. Um, so that's not what's happening, uh, Don. Uh, uh, Don. 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 You know I love you, right? Oh, of course. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you. You look great. Oh, thank you. Watch, Very Sammy. No no, 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 no. What is this now? No disqualifications is, here. Who booked a no DQ in a world title match? That's ridiculous. What? It, oh, and, and no. Did you hear Sammy? Sammy yelled wrestling, sat in a chair, and put a chin lock on. Kenny Omega's forgotten more about wrestling than Sammy Callahan will ever know. Sammy Callahan is a degenerate. He's a convict. Oh, that's a fork. That's a fork. That's a fork. This is sick. This oh is my sick. goodness. Somewhere Abdul the Butcher is smiling. I don't think we thought about forks when we said no DQ, did we? You, you know what? You might not have, but that's nice. the case. Nice back headbutt there by Kenny. I hope he takes out Sammy's eye, just like he tried to do to Eddie Edwards with a bat three years ago. Oh! Sammy's one of the most versatile wrestlers I know. He's a great wrestler, but he's also a piece of garbage. Okay, but what does it have to do with in between the ropes? It has to do with the fact that he perpetrates this garbage wrestling hardcore BS that has no business in this title match, in my opinion. Wait, wait, he wait. He assaulted wait. me. No, oh my what God! The oh my God. What the hell is that? No, 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 no! Give me a quarter Sicilian, baby! Oh, shit! What is that? Oh my God! The pizza cutter! That right there is the difference. Kenny, Don, you did not what expect this. What the hell this. is happened to this place? He this is, is Dreamer. He is This is Dreamer and Demore's bullshit. Tommy Dreamer oh reinstated Sammy Callahan. Of course he did. And man, that pizza cutter went right across. This is what I've been saying all along about Callahan. Ooh. Callahan only cares about anarchy. Hey, Don, your boy's busted. Can we get a look at this? For God's sake. Oh, uh oh. Now? And now Callahan's going back in with the pizza cutter. Bring it over so our fans God's can get sake, a better someone look. Someone stop this. Oh, God. Oh, my, my goodness. This is ridiculous. This is this is sick son of a bitch. You're the one that touted his deathmatch prowess. You did say he was the king of deathmatches, didn't you? So, it's not over yet. Fair enough. Not good over point. yet. Very good point, Don. This is the one thing you can't account for, the unpredictability of a guy like Sammy Callahan. Unpredictable. He's unpredictable like a serial killer. Actually, serial killers are quite predictable. They, I they, don't they think they in, are at all. In patterns. Oh. I'm watching too much television again. <laughs> hey, listen. Life Take that away from him. It's enough already. No disqualification. No disqualification. Perfectly legal. Yes, legal. perfectly legal. And, and, and How does Kenny react to seeing his own CWBS is what this is. Don, when is the last time Kenny Omega was busted open like this? Like this? Yes. Never? So this is a new experience for him, something he's never this planned is for. Why, this is why I was not in agreement with defense against Callahan. And that cut, unfortunately, is above the eye of Omega. That is not good as the blood drips into no. Kenny's eye. It'll impede his vision as the match goes on. Yeah, I've been busted open before, and it almost turns to a, a shade of orange as it co covers your yeah. face. Right hands by Omega. What guts. Bleeding buckets, and he's laying the lumber to Callahan. I love it. You know, we don't want to take anything away from Kenny Omega, oh, but I've not. said his associations are what make him just a bit grating, if you will. Oh, you mean the fact that the elite is the best faction in the history of pro wrestling? Is that what you're oh, talking about? There we go. There smart. you go. That's smart wrestling. Very right smart. There. Very creating smart. Distance, creating Step distance, Kenny Omega is. 
Create some distance. Recoup a little bit. Kenny's okay. Kenny's okay. He's still on his feet. Feet look solid underneath him. Don, you've often talked about planning ahead days, weeks, months, years. Did you plan for this? Did you know this was what, coming? What, did you see what Callahan did to me three years ago? Uh -huh. We knew this was a possibility. Don't worry. Sammy Callahan's winding up. Looks like the flash going. On the move. No! Trash can to the head. Nice job there by Omega. Suckered Callahan in. Omega laid in wait, let the plan come to fruition, and then executed it. Brains and athleticism, those are the advantages that we hold over Callahan here tonight. Take a look at this, this DVD here by Sammy Callahan. Rocked Omega, sent him to the floor, but then Omega comes back with that trash can right to the head. Sammy loves it. This is what Sammy wants. Sammy Callahan does not care about the internet love for Kenny Omega at all. Nice, look at that. Put him down. Piso mojado. We would be doing Impact Wrestling a favor to put Callahan out of everyone's misery. There are many in the locker room that feel that Callahan's the perfect guy to bring the title home. No one in the locker room likes Sammy Callahan, John I Cal's, can promise I, you that. I will beg to differ right now. I have been confirmed it's a locker room sellout. For those who don't know, the term locker room sellout is every one of the talent in the back are standing around the Of course, because the, the biggest watching. marks are in the locker room. Yes, they are watching. They all want to see the god of pro wrestling. Oh, they can't see much there. Two thumbs to the eye. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Callahan's never been in the ring with an athlete the likes of the great Kenny Omega. How Kenny, much blood has Kenny lost, though? Moonsaw with a trash can. Oh, onto the ankle. He caught the ankle. Ooh. That is, that is crippling. It's great strategy. Oh. I hope he snapped it just like Conor McGregor's ankle. That's horrible. Are you is it? He just used a pizza cutter a few minutes ago. There's no horrible here. Get off your high horse, striker. Cover. Just oh, Sammy kicked out at one. Wow. What great good show of strength there. Callahan's too stupid to quit. We know that. You're going to have to end it. And by end it, you know what I mean, Eli. I know what you mean, but that's a bit extreme here in wrestling, don't you think? You know, Don, your, your hands are sweaty. You're rocking back and forth. Are you nervous? I am. I'm, of course I'm nervous. Callahan's a mental patient. And, and now, look at this. Omega wedging that chair into the corner. Come on, Sammy! Oh. There you go. Light him up. Uh-oh. Many thought the no DQ stipulation favored Callahan, but ooh, I don't, I'm not so certain. Snap elbow by Omega. Here oh, we go. One-wing oh, angel. One-wing angel. Set set up setting up for it. For the move that no one has kicked out of. Go behind. Nice lock. Roll through. Roll Shoulders through. are down. Two. Oh! A kick out straight into the chair. Shocking Callahan with an actual wrestling maneuver. It backfired on him there. Don Callis smiling ear to ear right now. That Cheshire grin. Gosh. Look, I'm going to go take a Whoa, better hey, look. Where are you going? Where are you, where, where are you going? Gosh. With that said, <clears throat> Kenny Omega now firmly in control, and Don Callis chooses this time to talk a little trash to Sammy Callis. He's coming back over here. Uh, no, Don, Don just wanted to get a little heads up, get closer to the... To the yeah, no, it's your chair. Just get Go a little ahead. closer just there. Take it. Just wanted to get a little closer there, you know, take a better look at Sammy Callahan up close. I wanted to get right in his face, and I wanted to see the pain on that piece of garbage. What'd you say to him? I said, hey, you like it, kid? This is what you wanted. Well, why wouldn't you get in his face when I he's standing he, up? I hope he pleads, because I'm not a wrestler, you idiot. Sure, what do you mean? Yes, you are. You have a decorated career, Don. I'm retired. I'm a, I'm a professional genius now. <laughs> oh, boy. You see the look, at, look at the blood oh. coming out of Callahan's face right now. Callahan's and, uh -oh. a walking biohazard with that open cut, in my opinion. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Omega's got a fourth. Look at that. Oh, 
Omega's oh. done. Oh, my gosh. Omega is deep oh, digging with that it. fork in the face. Well, this is what Sammy wanted. I, I mean, live by the sword, die by the sword. You can literally smell the blood here at ringside. Oh, my goodness. That's the fork that I believe wait, Sammy wait. introduced. Is Sammy? Is Sammy? Yeah, Sammy wants Sammy wants to bleed out. He doesn't want to get pinned with a one-winged angel. Look at this. Look oh, at this. Oh, 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 God, oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, this is disgusting. Oof. Folks, if you're squeamish, we do apologize, but this is the main event. This is for the most prestigious prize in our company on a great night of Slammiversary. All stops will be taken. Complete bloodbath here. I don't think anyone's surprised, given the ridiculous stipulations that Damore, Tommy Dreamer, and what other, whatever other band of idiots are running this company now that I'm gone. Look at the blood just dripping off of Kenny Omega. Look at the blood dripping off Sammy Callahan. Yeah, Kenny, Kenny likes it. He's got a laceration on his right it. hand. Really bad. Look. Kenny, 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 Kenny. Don't, don't, Look at don't that. Send this well, yeah, I'm actually thankful here. that you're sitting here. Yeah, Otherwise, right. Sammy would have been in our laps. <sighs> and now Kenny's starting to take over here. I, I, I would love him to work this cut. It'd be a fitting end to see Callahan bleed out. On the floor is where Sammy Callahan thrives. How many people would come to Callahan's funeral? Zero. We'll celebrate him while he's alive. Now, Sammy's at home right here. He's more he's more comfortable out here on the floor than he is inside the room. Sick. Ooh. Oh. Take nothing away from Kenny Omega. Omega is too fast and too athletic for Callahan, in my opinion. Did you see the recoil in Callahan's body? He hit that, he hit the apron there and just bounced to the floor. Everyone talked about you know, Omega being taller, in better shape, but it was about Sammy Callahan's devious mind. I beg to differ here, Don. What are you talking about? I think Kenny's mind is just as, if not more, devious. We plan, as you suggested earlier, everything out. You think I've never seen a hardcore match before? I was at ECW, you moron. I, am I know exactly aware, what Cyrus. to expect. Watch this. Ooh. Oh, my oh. God. Double oh. stomp. I, I'm at a loss for words here looking at this. This is a different level of Kenny Omega that we've not seen before. I told you he's the king of the death match. Is Callahan crying? Let's get a mic on him so I can hear him whimper. It's amazing how every wrestler says they want a match with Kenny Omega, but after watching this, look at think this again. double stomp here and wow. Jeez. You gotta be careful what you wish for. You want to get in the ring with a god of pro wrestling? There's no one in this industry who can stay with Kenny Omega in a professional wrestling match, in my opinion. And Omega now setting up the table. I liked it better when there were no fans. Of course you would, Doc. Come on, man. Bunch of degenerates. Not exactly a people person, are you? Probably all live in Dayton in that, that trailer park that uh, Callahan calls his compound. What has Omega got in mind here? I'd like to see a one-winged angel through the table myself. That would put an end to this oh, quickly. Might, might be what we're about to see here as Kenny Omega has position. Oh, no, it looks yeah. like he's there for a snapdragon. He set up for the, the snapdragon. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Callahan sits down. Mm. But you see Omega just put wrenching yeah. back. That works. He's biting him. Biting that lacerated hand of Omega. This is where Sammy's low center of gravity comes into play as these two war on the apron. Table looms ominously. <laughs> Just exchanging blows. Nicely done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's no way. No, look. <sighs> Callahan blocks it. Callahan has a handful of. Uh, he lets this. That's out. a front shut your mouth. That's shut, illegal. Shut your mouth there. Don't say that. And it might be the turnaround uh -oh. that Sammy Callahan needs. Here we go. No. no. Pile driver. No. Sit down. No. Sit down. No. Sit down. No. Sit down. No. Don Callis no. can feel the title no. slipping. Man, oh 
Oh, I got to see that again. That's worth a second. I got to see that again. Look right here. Sammy Callahan lifts Kenny Omega ah. up. Drop pile driver goes right through the table. Here we go, another angle. Wow. Sammy Callahan up to his feet first. The Impact Faithful willing him on. Getting Kenny Omega, the champion, back into the ring. This is where you got to win it, right here in the ring. Don Cow is curiously quiet. I don't like the way Kenny's neck landed there. Uh-oh, what, what is, what the hell has he got? Sammy Callahan. What a Callahan get in here last night and load the, the underneath of the ring with all this garbage. If I know Sammy, he's building something here. If Tommy Dreamer is the innovator of violence, Sammy Callahan is the innovator of destruction. And you see Sammy Callahan just threw that, that trash can from the outside in and literally hit Kenny Omega flush across the back. It's a great sign by a fan. If you can see it, Slammy Callahan, perhaps tonight yeah, is his fans night. Are, fans are real brilliant here in Nashville. <laughs> and what has Callahan got going through his demented mind? And he's still fighting, as all great champions do. Everybody's got a lot of fight until you get hit in the head with a trash can. Be a long flight back to the peg if Kenny Omega loses the title. Come on! Ooh, wow. Kenny's not even defending Sick himself. Sick son of a... Kenny is out on his feet. Le oh, oh, no. No, no. no. Oh, don't count yeah, Kenny don't Omega count out. Don't count out the god of pro wrestling. He's not human. Kenny Omega has earned his accolades. Take nothing away from him. Oh, god! Oh. Oh my God, cut him in half, cut him in half. Here it is, here it is. The title, oh. it's coming home Cover the right champ. now. Champ. Cover, One, two, two. Oh. 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 How did Kenny Omega kick out of that? Don Callis just shot out of his chair, sweat beating on his head. They're talking this to you, Don. Uh oh. Hey, hey, don't, 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 hey, hey, hey. You can't hide behind Keep me. Keep him away from me. Oh, shit. I have no oh, desire. Oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? Good. What the hell is that? Hidden underneath the steel steps. Impact Wrestling has stacked the deck with all this stuff out here. A steel chair wrapped in barbed wire. This has just taken a turn. This would never have happened when I ran this place. These vile fans swearing on national pay-per-view. Hey man, let us let them have their voice, Degen bro. Let de degenerate pieces of trash. Let them Halo. have their voice, man. First Amendment. Here we go. I'm Canadian. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> uh -oh, I wasn't Omega. joking. Slips out. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, eat it. Right. Eat it, you troll. Out of the trigger out of nowhere. Here we go. Back is exposed. Oh! Sammy right down into the barbed wire steel chair. Call Kenny it, Omega Stryker, now. Call the move. Getting hooked up. Oh! Good Stack night. Up. Roll through. Omega not done yet. Ref still counts, and Sammy knows what exactly a, where he is. What a whip! Grabbing the ropes, Mr. Hardcore. And Sammy Callahan. I hate, I hate Sammy Callahan. Sammy's very fortunate that to that V trigger propelled him to the rope. Good point. Well, look at this. The, Hold on. Are uh, the impact faithful? Put him down. Put him down. Yeah. For those of you who can't hear, Don Callis is screaming, put him down, put him down. Look at Kenny Omega, that jumping leg drop onto the barbed wire chair, and then the pile driver on the barbed wire stack. Look wow. at that. And that's how Kenny Omega has shifted the momentum in this match. This is how Kenny has taken over. And now Kenny Omega, one of the best in the world. How can it be stopped? And this is when Kenny is dangerous, when he's in control, and now you're playing his game. There you go. 
He bit the open wound. That is disgusting. The old Transcona tooth bite. Here we go, super. Oh! Cover. One, two, three, three. So. Slow count by that moron, Brian Hebner. Give Callahan credit, he kicked out of that superplex on to the trash cannon. Various other things. Here come the impact faithful. One more look. Look at this, look at this. Look at Hebner out of position. Oh, the trigger. And when Kenny starts the onslaught of these, yes, here we go. Good night, good night, good one night. One wing angel. One wing angel. No one kicks out. Falling to earth, not just yet. Sammy Callahan has Kenny Omega stacked. What is he going for here? Omega with that core strength able to slip out. Oof. And Omega's up. Ow, back fist. Kenny is hung up in a bad spot here. Uh-oh. Nowhere to go. What is this? Oh. This eight. It's a tombstone. Two Stop! there. Wow. And I think that last cover, I don't think, I don't think Callahan had the strength. Look at this, Boom. Tombstone. But he did not have the strength this to get a full hook awesome. of a cover in. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. And both men are down. This you hear awesome. the faithful screaming, this is awesome. This is awesome. The longer this goes, it favors the god of pro wrestling, Kenny Omega. Why is that? Because he went 72 minutes with Okada in New Japan, and I was there. Callahan's never done anything for 72 minutes. Sammy Callahan writhing, trying to find his fighting spirit. Look at that picture. Look at Kenny. I don't think Kenny can believe that Sammy's up already. Don, has Sammy earned your respect? Callahan is too stupid to stay down. No, he hasn't earned my respect. He's a degenerate. Oh, oh. Powder at him. You taught him that. That's not powder, it's salt. What do you need? Kenny's looking for his title. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. He thinks, he, he, he he thinks right that's Kenny. Sammy thought Brian Hector was Kenny as Paul drove him. Uh-oh. Omega's got oh. the belt. Oh, a clean with belt shot. The very prize for which they compete. Could Hebner lying How down on the job again. Poetic would it be for this to be the end. The mockery of oh. Sammy Callahan. Spike pile driver. No referee. No referee. No referee. How many? Where, where are we going to count? To 20? Here, second this is over. In. Well, this there is we over. go. No, no. All the referees are assigned here in the no disqualification match. They're all on hand. I oh, you, Spencer. Perfect. Um, is that is that what a fighting champion does right there? Just punch the referee? Well, referees are a low form of life. The only thing lower than them is an announcer. No offense. Oh, oh. Color commentator, please. I'm color, bro. Color, color commentator. And the Good Brothers are here, but no, look! Wait a minute, no, there you go! We talked about how Impact wants to bring the title back home. Sabin and Edwards are there, standing, fighting off the intruders, if you will. Intruders? They're the champions! Here we go! Oh, stop, Paul Driver! He nailed it! He nailed it! That's it! Five and a half, one is up! Two! Home. No! Oh. Hepner is in on something here! Hepner was down! When we had Callahan beat, and he conveniently wakes up to try to count a bullshit three. But it, it, uh, uh, Brian Hebner's hurt right there. You clearly see it. Hebner should be banned for pro wrestling. Man, oh man, Don, you can feel this thing slipping through your fingers. Look at this stuff, pile driver right here. Let's look at this count again. One, two, and they're just barely up. Uh, What's, what the what is that? hell is what that? What is that? I'm always intrigued. You're intrigued. 
Do you feel any human emotion, Striker? No, no, no. Oh, I'm, I went in, out I'm the intrigued to see a if long he time ago. pulls a knife out of there or something. I'm intrigued. You're an idiot. No, that's what not true. What is this? Here we go. What this is oh, may God. be. Oh, no. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Range. This is ridiculous. Why is he allowed to get away with this here? No disqualification. This is a joke. Someone needs to stop this. I'm sorry. Didn't you Someone sign the contract for this? Someone needs to stop this. Didn't you sign this contract? This is God, what a jerk. He's he, he knows it's slipping away. That's exactly what he knows. Oh, oh through the tax in the eyes. Face oh, trigger. Oh, and look at this Nancy boy prancing back here. Are you happy now? You proud of yourself? Someone had to stop this. The referee's oh, oh. not doing his job. Uh -oh. oh, look at that. He's loading up for He's, the V trigger of oh death. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. This, this is, is actually <coughs> brilliant if you think it, about it's, it. It's great strategy. If he hits his V trigger. You called it V trigger of death. Oh! Mouthful attacks. He's loading it for a second one. Might not need it. Here it is. One, two, no! Sammy no. Kelly will I not cannot believe. I cannot believe Callahan kicked out. Here we go. Shove him down his throat and make him swallow him. I hope it eats his insides. Uh-oh. Yeah, open his disgusting right. mouth. Yeah, swallow them, you piece of garbage. He's feeding them tax. I hope he gets disemboweled. Oh! No. Yes! God, my tax God. still all over the apron, all over the ring. Oh, one wing angel. If he hooks his head, it's no one. hands out. Yeah. If he hooks it, that's it. Don, I hate to say it, but you're right. <laughs> yeah. oh, yes. He's dead. Gentlemen, we apologize for Don Callis's language and his behavior, but he can take nothing away from the man. He understands that Kenny Omega is, in fact, pound for pound, the very best wrestler in the world. Don Callis looked at the Cheshire Cat. He had a smile as wide as the announce table. And now he's reveling in this on a night where the Good Brothers became Impact Tag Team Champions. They come out and they celebrate with their elite brother. Kenny Omega is still the Impact World's Champion. Wow. Dilo, what a night it's been. We thank all of the fans so much. We thank Sammy Callahan, honestly for fighting for the Impact banner. And look at Don Callis and Kenny Omega. I'll take nothing away from Kenny. He's an amazing athlete. It's his association with Don that leaves a bit to be desired. Dilo, your, your, your thoughts? Inside the ropes, Kenny is, is one of the best on this planet. He proves it every time he steps in there. He went in there with the unpredictable Sammy Callahan and matched him with equal unpredictability. I've never seen Kenny Omega wrestle in this fashion before. So many sides of Kenny Omega. He continues to silence his critics. He continues to have great matches night after night. Kenny Omega will go down as one of the very best. And, and now they're going for the biz, Kliz. Wait, what? what? What's going on? Whoa. What is this? If he's here, is he? It, it, I'm waiting on the monitor. I can't, everyone's I don't know this could be a ploy. There's no way. He is. Oh. The leader of the Bullet Club, and that has been a very controversial faction. Back and forth, people have been going with, who is Bullet Club? Who is Elite? Jay White is in the impact zone.
This oh, crowd is stunned and How silent. In God's name is he here? And for what? Is Jay White the guy? Is Jay White the guy to beat Kenny Omega? For this never open weight championship? I, 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 I'm sitting here, I, I am disbelief to what's going on. Jay White is here in the Impact Zone. Social media is exploding right now. And now Jay White standing in the ring with the Biz Cliz. Jay White, who has carried New Japan Pro Wrestling and the Bullet Club. Now stands in the ring across from Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers and Don Callis. And he's throw it up. They're throwing it up right here. They're throwing it up. And they're looking at Jay. Is this? Uh, what's going on? I have no idea. 